Greetings and welcome to the Sports Card Ripping Teacher. It's a big show today, so class is in session. Today's lesson is dedicated to the number 72, and it's actually a shout out to one of my students from last year. Uh, last year during our measurement unit, students had to go home and measure household items using uh, their inch ruler, yardsticks, whatever it is, and someone came back the next day and they measured their refrigerator. And I said, the refrigerator lives with you? And it kind of gave me a puzzled look. And I said, does anyone here know who the refrigerator is? No one knew, which I'm not surprised. They're only in second grade. So I said, go home, ask your parents, who is the refrigerator? If you come back with the correct answer written on a, on a sheet of paper, you will get some cards. And this was the first student, William the Refrigerator Perry, Chicago Bears number 72 defensive lineman, also scored a touchdown in Super Bowl 20 in 1986. Yes, he did score a touchdown. However, Walter Payton did not. That's the one thing that I do you know, think stinks. It's cool that he scored, but you know, Walter, such a great running back. Uh, he definitely should have scored a touchdown. So that student, he got a few cards. Uh, so did the other one. So today it goes out to that student and the fridge. Like I said, it's a huge show today. So I'm going to start with my favorite part was um, a mail day. And this came from J plus K Retro Gaming. Um, it was an awesome letter. I always enjoy, you know, the letters that people send um, with the cards or whatever. So I always appreciate that. And what a great hobby. You know, someone that I've never met, but I definitely consider them a friend. So a couple weeks ago, we did have a uh, blaster box battle. And um, it was a close match. It was using uh, Topps Chrome. You know, had a lot of fun doing that. And then that was the main thing. And I do have some cards to send out to Jay, but I'm terrible at getting to the post office. But after reading his letter, I'm definitely going to add a few more. Uh, the letter did mention that in Canada, they, can't, they cannot use their uh, buyback cards, which is kind of crazy, Tops. Come on. If you're selling the cards in Canada, let the people use the buybacks. Here we have Javier Assad on the pink, Christopher Morel on the back. I do have a feeling that one's meant for the Grandmaster cards. So he'll definitely get that for his PC as well. Some Nelson Velasquez got on the prism there as well. Very nice. And here we go. The big man right there, Kyle Schwarber. I do remember when Jay pulled uh, this card. I believe he pulled it on camera and said, that's, that's the hit of the box right there. So thank you for sending that to me. And then Seiya Suzuki is on the back, one of our favorite current Cubs. And this was an awesome piece of generosity. Christopher Morrell, but also his buyback. Like I said, they're not good in Canada. So Jay, um, I'm gonna give this one to Graham. I know he will put it to very good use and we will get your cards out in the mail very soon. So again, if you're not uh, subbing J plus K Retro Gaming, which you probably are already, go and sub them up. It's one of those channels I think should already have over a thousand subs, and they are so close. All right, next, I've been running a fantasy football league um, this year. I'll do my fantasy rip league next. But in this league, uh, you had to pick or buy one blaster box, and those were your cards for the year. And every three weeks, you had to go ahead and uh, switch up your lineup if you want. So we're starting the next round right here. And here's my starters. Travis Etienne is going to be my one of my running backs. Rasheed Rice, going against the Green Bay Packers this weekend, will be my wide receiver for the next four weeks. And going back to Bajan Robinson, after he scored two touchdowns last week, he'll probably score none the next four, but oh well. And then finally, a quarterback. We have a lot of decisions to make here, folks. Do I go with Aaron Rodgers? Is he coming back? Aaron, think clearly. Don't come back until next year. Brock Purdy, he's done pretty well for me this year. Dak, I said Dak was going to blow it up in November, and I was correct. They do play tonight, which is still November, so I don't know. I got Jalen Hurts. I got C.J. Stroud. And one of my things with my own fantasy football teams are – in the winter, that's when men are born. Keep the ball on the ground. Run the football. So I'm going to go with Jalen Hurts. He'll probably get at least one rushing touchdown every single week. So that's my lineup for the Pay Dirt Fantasy Football League. Those that are in it, 
go ahead and send me your lineups or do a new uh, video. Doogie's Dugout, he was the winner of last session. So we're getting his custom cards ready to go. All right, Fantasy Rip League time, folks. There are all kinds of buys this week. Six teams. I remember as a kid, like it was always like two, I feel like, maybe four. So with all those teams on buy, what I have is one prestige mega box. And I've seen people do this just in case. If I don't think I have enough, I do have one mosaic uh, football pack. So I'll kind of wait to decide if I open that one or not. So this mega box is from Meyer. And I opened up one Meyer mega box last week. It was kind of a dud, which means this one is going to be fire or worse. I doubt it'll be exactly the same box, folks. All right, so I doubt between, uh, I said it last, it is hard to read these cards, so I doubt Panini made any improvements on that, but maybe next year's edition, make it a little bit easier to read for the good teacher here. All righty, Vinny Testaverde, not going to be in the old lineup. Micah Parsons, that's always a possibility right there. Marvin Jones Jr. Got the Tank Bigsby right there. Uh, Graham's high in this player out of Illinois. And a Christian Okoye. Wildcat's going to go crazy right now. Man, I wish I could have him in my lineup this week. Look at those shoulder pads, man. Boulders for shoulders, that's for sure. And Devontae Adams. Never terrible having Devontae Adams in your lineup. Let's see. All right, we've got a blue right up front here, of course. And Jeff Wilson Jr., I don't think Devontae A-Chain is playing uh, this week yet, but I don't think Jeff Wilson is going to do me much. Franchise favorites, Ray Lewis. And I do think I could use that for the Baltimore defense. I think the retired players do count. Chubba Hubbard, Mike Gusecki. Johnson Jr. is an offensive lineman back there. They go backing up a little bit in steps. Get that leverage. Clayton Toon. Kind of got a feeling I'm going to need that mosaic pack, folks. Want to start off heat four strong. Adrian Hutchinson is a good choice for the defense. Kirk Cousin can't use him. Bryce Young right there, Alabama. This guy's little uh, belt thing there, upside down. Not anymore. I got to turn that upside down. Luke Musgrave, Green Bay Packers. I think he was in uh, uh, concussion protocols last I looked. And got, got Buckhead, butt, Butthead, so I could have a kicker this week. I have yet to have a kicker name the boxes I pulled for Fantasy Rip League, so that's a possibility right there. Slayton. Khalil Herbert, thought he was uh, in, injured last time I looked. Anthony Richardson, definitely injured. Jalen Thompson and Saquon Barkley on the purple. That's sharp, 94 out of 99. I don't think Saquon's jersey number is uh, 94, but that's still pretty sweet. Or a bookend would have been nice. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need that mosaic pack here, folks. And to be honest, I probably would have opened it anyways. I mean, it's just there staring at, at me. Mostert, that's a good possibility right there. Jack Campbell. Neil Smith. And Josh Allen. All right, one pack left. So it does seem like this box of uh, Prestige was as big a dud as the other one that we had. Where are the odds, folks? Chris Olave, Jaden Phillips, Archie Manning, and Aaron Rodgers. All right, so we're going to open up the Mosaic Pack here. I'm definitely going to have to pause the video, take a look and see what I can make out of this. Come on. Should get those three peak and camos. Could be parallels for me. Michael Irvin does me zero good. Jonathan Ogden. Fred Taylor, another retiree. A.J. Brown, possibility just for a one-pointer, though. Chris Godwin. Will Levis. 
And he started off pretty hot, but that's you know what your rookie quarterbacks are going to do. Got a Will Levis backwards here. Will Levis might be our quarterback, folks. It is on a prism, so we get some double points. But if he doesn't throw any touchdowns, what good does it do us? Mac Jones. You know what? Um, man, I forget his name now. Who was the quarterback for the Texans last year? That, those automatically went into the student pile. So we'll start putting our Mac Jones cards in that student pile now as well. Quentin Johnson. I'm not sure how well he's doing this year. I know that... Uh, Chargers aren't doing very well overall. Roquan Smith, Alvin Kamara on the silver. I got some work to do here, folks. I'll be back. Well, all I have to say is woof about that. My goodness, this has to be the worst pile of cards this week. I guarantee that, folks. All right, we got Chris Godwin, though. A.J. Brown, that's our times one. We got Harrison Buckner. I believe that's just the times one there, not parallel, just a insert. And Devon White would be our only uh, parallel uh, defensive team for the Buccaneers right there. Uh, Will Levis, again, very thin at quarterbacks. So we got Will Levis at a times two. Got Alvin Kamara on the silver, so at least we get times two there. And Mike Kosicki uh, had zero fantasy points last week. It was either him or Luke Musgrave, and Musgrave is probably going to be out for the season for the Green Bay Packers. And then Jeff Wilson actually had a few maybe about 10 carries last week, a couple of receptions there. So it is a numbered card. So we need a miracle here, folks. Could it be the miracle that we're looking for? Classes dismissed.